An eerie relic of the Cold War, a rare glimpse for these sea cadets inside the subterranean bunker complex on the Swinnerton training area in Staffordshire. If there had been a nuclear attack, this Ministry of Defence site would have been home to regional government for the Midlands. Unused for three decades, part of the complex could now be brought back into life. Lieutenant Lee Townsend, the commanding officer of the Stafford and Rugeley Sea Cadets, saw the training potential of renovating the bunker's diesel generators. It's tying in something that's really old and something that's got a real history piece behind it, but using the skills that we still teach them now. So uh, going along the, the engineering route, we're using something that's got a bit of a, a quirky history behind it to deliver modern training. It's great to being able to go inside the nuclear bunker for the very first time. It's very interesting. I've done a smaller course previously in the cadets, but not, not, not into the same scale as this, which is, good, which is great really. The cadets have been supported by soldiers from the Royal Corps of Signals, Defence Infrastructure Organisation staff and by Perkins Diesels. The joint project will hopefully bring the generators back to working order, which in turn could open up new training opportunities for the bunkers on the Swinnerton training area.